hello friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to create a usb bootable flash drive firstly you need to have uh, the the iso file the window iso file you want to create the bootable flash drive and you need to get a a, uh, a bootable creator a media a, an installation media creator it's maybe uh rufus or or usb flash drive creator too so uh, firstly you have to go to the internet and type rufus or download rufus exe okay so you click on the first link and here you have the Rufus application just click on this Rufus 3.7 portable or Rufus 3.17 it's still the same thing all right so you can make use of this Rufus application once you click on it going to download i don't need to download because i already have it downloaded on my system you have it three force three point three so this is a lower version compared to the current one they have out there on their website right now and another thing is you need to get the window installation file the window iso file we're trying to create on the bootable flash drive so let's assume you want to create a uh, window 10 that will be download Windows 10 ISO file 2017. All right, the major reason why I decided to download uh, a lower version of uh, a late, uh, uh, an older version of Windows 10, which is 2017, is because Rufus is not permitted to uh, to create a uh, the current 2021 version of Windows 10 on a flash drive. It's, they, they haven't given it that access. So you can only create uh, from 2019 an operating system that has the version of 2019 backward. Right? It's 2020 uh, operating system Windows 10 can be created through or uh, using uh, Rufus. I'm going to show you another method of creating 2021 version of Windows 10 uh, on a bootable flash drive. So here you just search for a, a link alright download now So you click on download and it's going to start downloading the Windows 10 2017 version. I really don't need it because I've already I already have it downloaded on my system. So I'm just going to quit this page when you end uh, anytime soon. Okay, it has pop up and it's 3.3 gigs. So I'm going to cancel it and quit this page. So I'm going to go back to my own screen and launch the Rufus application. Okay. Do you want to allow? No. So I have the Rufus application open on my system, and the next thing to do after launching the application is to plug in your USB flash drive. It may be eight gig, sixteen gig, thirty-two gig, sixty-four gig, or any size. But note, it must the size of the flash drive you are going to use must be higher than the size of the file you want to install on it so i'm going to plug in my 16 gig usb flash drive now and you can see automatically in this uh device option it pop up the only flash drive i have in my system let's assume i have more than a single flash drive it's going to pop up the the 
uh, as many as I've already inserted to the USB port. So I have just a single a, a single USB flash drive now, and that's why it's showing just only that one. It's going to detect it automatically. And you, you the next thing is to click on select. Alright, so I'm going to I I have the ISO file on my desktop already, which is the Windows 10 ISO file. So I'm going to I'll go to the location and I have the Windows 10 2019. This is the 2019 version of Windows 10. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to load it. You can see this uh, partition scheme wasn't highlighted before but after selecting my operating system it became boring i can choose either between mbr and gpt you know what for you to create a bootable flash drive you must be sure that what you are uh, the kind of system you are trying to install the operating system on accept gpt or mbr but the the best way i do explain to people is the older system system of old specification do always take mbr and it's available to use mbr on those system but recent system let's say 2015 downward uh require a gpt partition scheme in order for the usb to get detected when trying to install the operating system on them but nevertheless don't forget it still depends on the manufacturer specification and their mode of design being another system 2014 or 2015 backward doesn't mean gpt won't work on them and being a recent system 2015 down to 2021 doesn't mean MBR won't work on them. It all depends on the manufacturer specification, but it's most common the kind, the type of system and the series of system tells me the, which one to use, even without going to the system BIOS, because that's the only best way for you to know which the system is going to accept. You go to the system BIOS and check whether it is in uh, UEFI. Or legacy if the system has a legacy configuration then you choose MBR all right and if it has a UEFI uh, configuration you choose GPT all right so I have a system now that use a uh, that has a UE uh, a legacy specification design manufacturer design on it so I'm going to choose MBR and I'm just going to click on start all right this is a, a, a warning notification that pop ups that reminds you everything on the flash drive is going to be deleted. It's going to format the flash drive first and install the operating system on the flash drive for you. So you click OK and you just wait till uh, it finish installing it.
so we're done creating the usb bootable flash drive and you can see do you have the start button highlighted again but it says it, it, start the following operation this will destroy any data on the target so we don't need that and the next thing now is to click on close don't forget to rightly check your usb flash drive so that you can still have everything you've done on it intact so you are free to reject at this stage and let me know or comment in this uh in the comment section just let me know if you have any challenges in doing what i just did right now and in case you are in case you have a kind of system you would like to install the operating system or just comment the brand of system you're having issue installing the operating system on whether it is hp i don't need to know the model of the hp just type i need to install it on hp laptop put me through i need to install this on asa laptop put me through or dell laptop or fujitsu or toshiba any brand of laptop just state it in the comment below and i will surely get back to you by either creating a new video on how you can do the installation by yourself or just gathering some uh some articles on how to do that without having a, a single problem with it so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thumbs up and click don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching this video God bless.